All right, guys, let's learn how to plaits slash braid today. Hello everyone and once again welcome back to my channel Simply Shiny where it's simply me being me and today I'm back with another back to the basics video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do plaits. I grew up calling them, I grew up calling them plaits, other people call them single braids, uh, whatever you want to call them but I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So without further ado, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you are notified the next time that I post a video and then let's get started all right let's get into this tutorial um i noticed after the fact that i did not show you guys how much product or what i put in my hair but don't you worry that's gonna come in about like 30 seconds so right now i'm just spraying my hair with water um before i start detangling it i'm gonna go in with my wide tooth comb as always to protect my hair and then i'm just gonna work my way up to the top and by then you know it's eventually combed out as you can see and I can run my fingers through it. So then now I'm just going to take off a small section so you, I can show you guys how I plait my hair. So now that I've got my section, I'm going to grab the product and I'm going to put a little bit on my fingers and then moisturize it or maneuver it or whatever you want to call it into my hair and then I'm just going to moisturize that and rub it in just get the all the strands coated with the product and then I'm gonna get into the plait no that's the product so I had a Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding and that's what it looks like and then also I'm gonna put the avocado oil in there uh, I also have tea tree oil. You can really put whatever oil you want in there, but it's always up to you. And then I'm going to go ahead and comb it out again just to be extra sure. And I was showing you that I use my spray bottle as well. So then what you're going to do, you're going to split this section into three parts, preferably three equal parts, um, just so your braid can come out well. And then you're going to take turns crossing the outer sections over the center section and that's going to make a lot of more sense when you see me do it so i'm bringing that left side over the center then i'm bringing the right side over the center and then i'm going to bring the left side over the center the right side over the center the left side over the center and the right side over the center um yeah i feel like this looks it makes a lot of sense whenever you look at it with this nice little close-up that I have for you guys. And basically you're gonna continue this process until you get to the end of the braid. And of course you could always grip your hair tighter at the top, but for the sake of showing you guys, I couldn't do that. But I'm gonna show you one more time with a bigger section well it's actually gonna be the same size because I split that one in half so you're gonna once again put the product through your hair rub it in make sure your hair is moisturized you're gonna split the section into one two three parts and then you're just gonna make sure they're equal because sometimes it's not always equal the first time you split it apart and then you're gonna take turns pulling either side over the middle piece so uh, this time I started with the left one, so left over the middle, then right over the middle, left over the middle, right over the middle. And you just keep on going all the way till you get to the end. And now I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this un un uninterrupted. Sorry, I can't always say that word. And of course, as always, whenever you get to the end of a braid or a twist, you're going to want to make sure it's nice and detangled, especially if you're looking to do a braid out or a twist out. This helps whenever you're trying to separate it. And then you just finish braiding. But I'm so sorry, guys. I normally like to do 
give you guys three times of me showing you how I do stuff but for some reason my video cut off after this second one and I didn't have any more footage but I hope this really helped you guys thank you for watching if you made it to the end of this video I want to say thank you and make sure you hit that red subscribe button so that you are notified the next time that I post the video also click that notification bell and then um, leave your comments down below what you want to see next and then also next week I will be doing a braiding tutorial of how you actually do braids like these um, so stay tuned for that and like I always say don't forget to be the best you because there's only one person like you and that is you so simply be genuine and I'll see you guys next time bye Um...